When you first read the words curriculum of the home, you might have stopped and wondered, what does that mean? Curriculum is what we teach in the school. Well, as the book says, a broad definition of curriculum, which comes from Dole, is that curriculum is all of the experiences children have from the moment of waking to the moment of falling asleep. Obviously, there is no single home curriculum. We are a diverse nation with a mix of cultures, races, and ethnicities. But often we underestimate the power of the home curriculum and miscalculate the learning that children acquire outside of school. When the children appear to have a disparity between ch the home learning and the expectation of the school curriculum, we judge, we judge the children to be deficit, rather, rather than recognizing that they have different skills that can be assess, assist them as they are attaining higher level abilities. They are just not obvious to us. And oftentimes we see that as a problem instead of recognizing it as something that we could be able to use to help build skills at school. Repeatedly research has indicated that regardless of ethnic or socioeconomic makeup of the family, a warm and responsive parenting style, a structured environment, and stimulating activities that include a variety of materials, plus parents' involvement as children use these materials, support children's growth. And these are the important parts of the home curriculum. Home helps children grow in many ways. For example, home nurtures communication and cognitive skills. Early communication, language development, and cognitive development are intertwined in the early development of children. As a colleague of mine describes this early environment that is rich with language as bathing children in words, she encourages families to bathe their children in language all the time. But what about children who are learning two languages or two dialects? Research shows us that though the rate of learning two language may appear to be slower, in fact, they do learn both languages, as well as many other important cognitive skills. For example, a child learns how to code switch. This means that they can not only speak two language or dialects, they also learn all the cues, sometimes subtle cues, about when to move from one language or dialect to another based on the context. This promotes cognitive development. Beyond language and cognitive learning, another important role that the home curricula curriculum influences is the child's learning the values and role expectations for themselves in relation to family members. Families who focus on the values, morals, and attitudes by modeling behaviors, reasoning through solutions, and labeling labeling behavior as seen in public gives children a much needed sense of purpose and direction in life. Not only does this type of learning happen with parents, but it also is strongly influenced by extended family. Extended family may live, families may live close or they may live far away. Distance is less of a problem if you have the resources such as Skype or use tele technology to communicate with fa extended family regularly. Celebrations are a time that children learn much about what is of value to a family. These can be formal religious, national, or cultural ce celebrations. They can also be celebrations that are unique to the family. The ways that grandparents influence child development are, of course, different in different families. In some cultures, it is the norm that grandparents are the primary caregivers during the day while parents work. In, other, in some situations, grand, grandparents have custody of their children and therefore influence the child as a parent would. Grandparents, even if they live long distances away, may have access to the child regularly by talking to grandparents every Sunday night on calls or through Skype. In a number of cultures where grandparents live uh, uh, far apart, they may come and visit for long periods of time, for example, staying for six months to help the family out. Grandparents can also influence children's development through continuing a strong supportive relationship with the child's parents, offering them knowledge and support as parents requested. It requested. 
As I mentioned earlier, though some families are direct when teaching their child, most of this learning occurs as part of everyday activities and routines. It is the, in these functional root activities that skills, knowledge, and values are most efficiently and effectively taught. We all learn skills and behaviors best when we're using them in real life. Routines and activities such as preparing for the day, meals time, meal times, which might include preparing for the meal, eating the meal, cleaning up afterwards, reuniting at the end of the day, and bedtime. Again, one, a routine that has many smaller ones, such as bath time, reading, telling stories, singing songs, etc., getting that last glass of water, are all the context of the home curriculum. All families have their own ways of doing these activities and routines. It is during the activities and routines that children are learning skills, such as how to think about and organize what they need for the day. The sequence of events, first you eat and then you brush your teeth, not brush your teeth and then you eat. A sense of time. It helps children's memory and recall, just to name a few. Parents often provide explanations or answer children's questions when varying the routines. And this helps children gain a security in the knowledge that when things are different, they don't have to be scary. Even children who are homeless deal with the stress better when parents can maintain some routines and rituals. When, parent, when children see how their parents cope with being tired and hungry at the end of the day, they are learning coping skills. When parents and partners are able to resolve differences through discussion, apologizing, coming to agreement, they provide important lessons in how to reach a peaceful settlement. The home curriculum is essential for helping children grow and reach their fullest potential. The school curriculum is also important. The best way to help children reach their highest potential is to acknowledge the importance of both curricula and for parents and teachers to work collaboratively to create the best possible learning experience for each child, one child at a time.